welcome back to my channel. If you're new, come check my channel. My name is Anna, and today's video is going to be just a little vlog. Um, today is two. No, not Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, the twenty fourth. I had to look at the date. Um, the twenty fourth of April, of course. And yeah, I haven't done one of these face to face videos in several days. It's been probably about a week now, almost. Um, for the last face video I filmed was like the before and after of me going to the dentist, and that's been well over a week ago now. Um, I feel great. Um, everything's fine back there. Um, but if you haven't seen my other past videos about me going to the dentist, I had to go to the dentist, get four teeth out in the back, like right here, from right here to like right here. I had to get them out because they were very, very bad. Um, I did a whole like video about it. Um, I'll leave a link down below if I don't forget, just in case you haven't seen it. And, you know, a week after, I'm fine. Like I'm back to my normal things. Because after you get a, a tooth pulled, or especially if you get several teeth pulled, you kind of need to take it easy. You know, even though it's just in your mouth, no matter if you're in pain or not in pain or whatever, you have to take it easy. Like you might not have to be on strict bed rest or anything. You have to be like you can't. Put your, you're literally like, put your head up and down, and you're like moving your head around a lot. You can't really do that a lot. Um, you know, you, you kind of, it's kind of like if you get like surgery, you know, like kind of, you know, except for with surgery, like if you get cut open or something like that, you know, it can be, you know, you kind of stay on bed rest or something. But yeah, it's it, it's a recovery process. But I'm back to my normal things. I can. I'm finally happy to say that I can, you know, clean now because for like all week last week I couldn't vacuum, I couldn't clean tables and you know, I don't really like doing that stuff but like when you can't do something and you're used to doing it after you had something like that done or whatever you had done you have to be like taking it easy, it just makes you want to do it. So I, so basically that's how I felt all week. I was like, mom, can I help you with something? Can I help you something? She's like, no. So, but this week, I'm back to my normal self, so I can vacuum, I can clean, I can do anything, so I'm good. Um, yeah, so, pretty much, um, it smells really good in my house right now, <laughs> not gonna lie, my mom's frying chicken, and it smells super good, um, yeah, and I'm waiting for next Monday to be here. Because, basically, you know, I'm ready for, like, that night to be here, Monday night. Because I want, like, there's this new show coming out, which is not a TV show. It's not, you know, on Netflix or nothing like that. But it's a channel here on YouTube. It's called Brat. And if you know who Annie, Annie LeBlanc is and you watched the Bertaley channel, Bertaley, Bertaley, I... I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's been a long time since I've If you follow their channel, you know Annie LeBlanc and Haley LeBlanc, they're on this channel called Brat, just in case you didn't know that. Um, but they're not going to be in this show. I mean, it's going to be on Monday. Um, it's coming out on Monday. It's called Red Ruby, and it's going to be a vampire thing. I cannot wait. Like, I cannot really wait for this um, show to come out. I'm hoping it's more than 10 minutes long. Um, bless you. Welcome. My mom sees. Um, but, like, it's about vampires, and I can't wait. I, I can't wait for it to come out, so. Yeah, I'm waiting for Monday to get here. But as I hate to say that, because I hate Mondays, but. <clears throat> but. Yeah, so. Pretty much. Let's see what's going on. Um, oh, by the way, I painted my fingernails. Here's my fingernails right here. Um, painting them this blue color. Um, and also my toes, my toenails and all that same color. But yeah, painted these not yesterday, the day before. I painted them Monday. Um, so yeah, I painted them pretty much. So I'm gonna think about I filmed this other video, um, few days ago it was like a youtuber tag like a subscriber perfect subscriber tag or something like that 
Well, it didn't want to import into my computer properly from my iPod and stuff, so I wanted to refilm that. I'm hoping I'll refilm it sometime this weekend. Um, but this week has been a little bit busier with mean, schoolwork and everything. I had no school Monday, which I only had, I had, I did have to do one thing because I didn't finish it last week or I didn't do it last week. So I had to do like a lab report for science. I've done that Monday, but I really didn't have no school Monday. Um, yesterday, it was a very chill day. I got done kind of earlier, so it was good. Um, I had one thing I need to do, but I'm going to wait till Friday to do it, even though it was due yesterday. But as long as we get it done by a certain time, uh, it'll be fine. Um, I need my mom to help with it, and Friday is like a catch-up day, they call it. Like, it's like a day where you can, like, go back and retake quizzes, or if you're behind, or overdo on some things, you can go back and do it, everything, so that should be Friday. So, I'm hoping everything will go good, and the worst part of it is, I have an essay due tomorrow, and I haven't even started on it. I've only read a little bit of the book, because I'm, I'm a procrastinator in reading and doing stuff. I know it's not good. But I hate to read, and we're reading Macbeth, and Macbeth does not make any sense at all. Like, it might make some sense to you guys, depends on if you like reading or not. But, like, to me, when I read something, you know, as, when I get into the story and everything, if I don't like it, I don't want to read it. Even though I have to if, for school or when I do it. And I have an essay on it. I wish I just had a stupid unit test. Like, of course, when we read a book or something, they're always going to have some kind of essay involved. But I wish it was like a unit test with like questions and stuff. Because I could probably do better on that. And it would be a whole lot easier. Instead of writing an essay. So. I wish that was happening. But that's due tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get everything done tomorrow. Because I not only that. I have to do math. And I have to do English. I have to do science. I have to do social studies. I have to do all those other kind of subjects. Along with. The essay. So. Yeah it's. It's pretty difficult, and actually one of my friends that, my online school friends, like, I made several friends, um, throughout the homeschooling, and I don't talk to them, like, every day, you know, every once in a while we'll talk, you know, I've only met one in person, um, but me and her really don't talk, talk, like, we're close, like, we're, we're friends, but we don't really talk that much, but basically I've met some other people too, and one of them says, but he's done with school. He like he got done a month early, like over a month. You go, like how do you do that? You're the same grade I am. How did you finish with all these essays and stuff? I'm hoping that don't mean like he might have an exam to do or something at like, the end of the year. But with homeschooling, the homeschooling that we do, you know, the home the K twelve, you know, it's a very balanced thing. Like you do like and you have a job, let's say if you're a senior or you're in high school and you have like a part time job or whatever do school work, then you have to go to work or something, or you have like early morning work, then you do your work in the afternoon or whatever. Or if you're if you're homeschooling, you are becoming an actress, or you're doing some kind of career where you have to kind of like you're in public school, you'd be missing school a lot because of it. You know, homeschool is like the best option for that. But like, I totally recommend it for anybody that's having trouble in school. You know, like going through bullying things. Um, going through different things or as I said like if you're going to the acting business and you want to start on that early you know homeschooling is like the best thing but getting if you use the K-12 program getting behind if you ever get behind with overdue stuff it's kind of it's not hard like it's hard like behind on but it's hard and it can be like very very you can be very very overwhelmed and stressed with everything so like K-12, you know, it can be, you can go ahead on your stuff, like, you can go ahead and work on, like, different, like, work ahead and all that, but, like, I don't think I can do that, like, maybe one day, but, like, with me, what my grades are, like, my grades are halfway good, I have all A's set for two B's, I have one D, and the D is in math, um, math, geometry does not fit with me well at all um like not at all like I hate it like they think you're gonna need some future like, unless you go do like some kind of engineering job like if you're going into like working at these meals um that do like paint like make paper and cut logs or whatever you know meals engineering whatever you you probably need that but like for me 
I'm not planning on going now. I don't know what I'm going to do. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to be doing, you know, no, nothing like that. You know, basically I'll be counting money or, you know, doing something like that. You know, because I'm like, I'm the kind of person where I think I want to pursue financing, you know, with money, no matter if it, I'm not sure about working at a bank or anything, but I'm very, very good with computers, like working behind a computer, you know, everything like that, so if I think, I'm thinking about doing finance, um, but it depends on, you know, how the future holds up for me, you know, I'm hoping, right now, I'm not going to college, um, you know, I can go to college, you know, I can get some sort of, you know, get financial loan, like get student loans and all that where you have to pay for it your whole entire life to get it back most of the time. Um, but like right now when I graduate my senior year, no matter if I go back to public school, most likely I'll probably be finishing out in homeschooling, but no matter what happens, no matter where I'm graduating, right after that, loan break. Like I wanna to try to get my life together, think about what I wanna do. That's me right now, but you never know, next year and junior year junior year of high school, you know, in senior year, you're probably like, I want to go to college. Like, I want to go to college right off the bat, get my education, get my two, four years in, no matter how many in, and, you know, get my stuff done with and, you know, apply for something. For me right now, I am taking a break after senior year. Like, I'm going to take at least a year, you know, it depends on how long it is, get my life together, get everything together. And the only thing about that, it sucks because, you know, I don't know what my best friend's plans are, you know, I'm not really sure, like, my best friend might want to go, like, she's not going to go to a local college, she really wants to go to, like, a two-hour away college, which two hours ain't that bad, I don't think, um, you know, but, you know, but if she stays down there all the time, because it's down there for us, like, there's, like, a big city down there and stuff, hold on just a second. But, yeah, it's just... You know, I, I don't know, what I don't really know what she wants to do, but, yeah, so that is my plan right now, but as I said, right now at this point, my plans can change, it can change to where, like, oh, I want to go to college right after I graduate, you know, but right now it's like, I'm taking a break afterwards, and it's been like that for about a year or so now, um, my parents know what I want to do, you know, they support me, um, you know, my, you know, everybody wants me to get a change, like, Everybody wants, you know, no matter what family you're in, you know, there is somebody that you need to get your education. No matter if, you know, yeah, just get your education. I really don't know where I'm going with this, but, yeah, I, I'm getting my education the best way I can, but where I live, I live in a very, very small town, and I, there's really nothing to do around here. And, you know, probably a lot of y'all probably like, will move, like, when you get a chance, move, you know, move out of that city, move out of that town, you know, move, maybe move out of the state if you would like to, but, like, I get very homesick, and to me, you know, I'm the only child, so my parents ain't in a rush, like, I'm 17, like, my parents are not in a rush, I'm not in a rush either, like, you know, this is my space, you know, I'm the only child, I really enjoy it. You know, whenever I get married and stuff, you know, when I get married, you really don't have that much space. Like, you might get space to yourself, but basically, you're going to share a bed with somebody. You're going to share a room with somebody. You're going to share a house with somebody. You know, no matter, you know, and have kids one day, you know. So, like, right now, I'm enjoying my own, like, space. This is my space. My room is perfect. You know, I don't really like my room. And, like, it can be a little bit bigger, but, like, we live in a small house, so oh well. But, like... I enjoy, you know, my life right now, like, my own space, my own bed, you know, I can sleep how I want to, you know, watch whatever I want to on Netflix, don't even have to worry about, you know, asking somebody else what they like to watch unless I have a friend over or something, but I'm enjoying my life right now, like, finishing high school in two years, uh, when I'm 19, which that is a, it's not weird, I don't think. And there is some probably some people that do graduate 19, but I'll be graduating 19 because my birthday is late in the year. Like I fell back one grade and all of that. So usually people are graduating at 17, and I'm not. And some most people are also graduating at 18, but I'll be graduating at 19. So yeah. So I really don't know where this video is going. I hope you guys enjoyed this like long talkative video. 
So, see you guys in my next video, and yeah, so bye, bye.